we are in my Acumatica uh, demo environment where you can see here that we have our ShipStation um, plugin integrated here and we'll spend some time inside of Acumatica and uh, as we get down the road here we'll spend some time in our ShipStation environment as well. But uh, where I'd like to begin is very briefly coming into our sales order workspace where as you would imagine most of the customizations are running um, and just briefly touch on what it takes to set up our uh, integration between Acumatic and ShipStation. Uh, establishing the connection between the two sites is very easy. Um, assuming that you have uh, ShipStation API credentials to plug into our um, plug into our setup. As long as you have those uh, API that API information, and you're able to identify how your warehouses are configured inside of ShipStation. Um, that's about all the setup that is required to start sending order information from Acumatica to ShipStation. Um, this is a new demo environment. I was able to configure this in about uh, 90 seconds, and I would not consider myself a very technical person. Um, so as far as setup goes, very easy. Um, all that's needed is these pieces of key information from your um, ShipStation environment. And optionally, you can identify an order prefix um, to accompany shipments that go from Acumatica to ShipStation, uh, which could be helpful in an environment where the third-party warehouse or the uh, remote warehouse that you're using might be receiving orders from multiple stores. Um, this can just help yours uh, be identified and differentiate them from any other shipments that are sitting in that ShipStation environment. So set up very easy to do. With that being said, we'll go back into our sales order workspace and we will uh, create a new sales order that we will use to send over to our ship station. So just like any other time in Acumatica, as I'm putting a sales order together, the first thing that I need to identify is who my customer is. And once I have my customer identified, I can begin to identify what I'm gonna be selling to this customer. I'm a big fan of Acumatica's Lego products, so that's what we're going to go with here. Um, and from <clears throat> this point, from the sales rep or the customer service rep's perspective, um, everything should look and feel exactly like Core Acumatica, um, because the integration that we're running here and the ultimate fulfillment really shouldn't affect how they're doing their jobs. So once we have our sales orders created, just like we would create them in any other Acumatica instance, um, we can go ahead and create a shipment just like we would in any Acumatic instance, either manually here or from our processing sales orders uh, processing center. Now, just for the sake of maintaining a single workflow here, I'm gonna manually create my shipment. And now we're still taking a look at a regular shipment inside of Acumatica, um, which for all intents and purposes looks exactly like a regular shipment, um, except for two key things. Um, number one, we have this TPW tab now at the uh, at the end of my shipment record, which is going to be where we can actually uh, see the status of our shipment in our third-party warehouse in our ship station environment once we send it over. We also see this button up here to notify TPW that there is a new shipment available for them to process. So just like in Acumatic, I could have manually created the shipment from the sales order. I can manually communicate this shipment and its details to my ship station environment. Uh, but more practically, we would use our process shipments center, um, which function, functions exactly like any other processing center in Acumatica. So once our shipments are identified and we are able to create them based on current inventory levels and the like, uh, we're able to use our processing center on however often of a basis we need to, on whatever defined cadence we need to schedule this processing to happen, to send our open shipments to our third-party warehouse or to our ship station environment. So I only have a single shipment here now. But I'm going to go ahead and process it and this will take our open shipments and send it over to ShipStation. Okay, so a few seconds later we have a successful process. Now if we come back to my uh, ShipStation and we give this a little refresh. At the top of my screen here we have shipment number 4369. Uh, coming over from Acumatica uh, less than a minute ago. So it's a very quick, in, uh, very quick integration. Um, I can define that notification to happen as often as I need to. And you can see it doesn't take long for it to be communicated over to my ship station environment. <clears throat> now, 
Um, this isn't a ShipStation demo per se. This is a ShipStation integration demo. So I don't want to spend a ton of time talking about uh, how to fulfill uh, shipments within ShipStation. So um, for the sake of experience here, what I'm going to do is just select that shipment that we're taking a look at, and we can mark it as shipped. Um, but as I say that out loud, and as we're talking about um, visibility between two systems, what I would like to just very quickly show is if we come back into our shipment record and we refresh this now, I do want to point out that our shipment record is going to be indicating the fact that we have sent a fulfillment request over to our third party warehouse. So at any point, the sales rep or the service rep who was responsible for this original sales order and this original shipment could come into the shipment and see whether or not we sent this over to our third party warehouse for fulfillment. Um, and we'll see the status update again once it is fulfilled. But I just want to highlight that visibility that is occurring between the two systems as details are communicated from one to the other. Okay. So now we can come back into our ship station uh, environment, identify the shipment that we want to work with. And again, uh, since this isn't necessarily a ship station demo, I just want to mark this particular shipment as shipped. Okay. Now, I could have selected a ship via within my Acumatica um, instance, either on the sales order or at the shipment record. But as Jim was explaining in his introduction, um, one potential benefit of this integration is that we can eliminate the shipping carrier integration from Acumatica. And if it is totally up to the discretion of your um, third party warehouse or uh, who's ever operating your ship station to um, rate shop and to select, select the ship via themselves, we can leave this blank for them to select um, themselves. And then of course, whatever ship via they go with, um, as they generate the tracking number, which I'll do manually today, that information is going to write back into the package details of Acumatica. So um, this can, if desired, put the responsibility of uh, rate shopping out of Acumatica's hands and into ship station's hands or the third party hands if this is a third party warehouse. Okay. With that marked as shipped, it's going to drop out of our manual orders awaiting shipment screen in ShipStation. We'll see that it has been marked as shipped. Um, that's the shipment that we were just taking a look at. And so now if I come back into my shipment record inside of Acumatica, um, just like before, I can manually uh, come to the shipment and check to see if there's um, confirmation from my third party warehouse yet, or optionally, I could use my processing center to do the same exact thing at the end of the day to see how many of those shipments that have been sent with a fulfillment request have actually been fulfilled. Uh, but in our case, I'll just do that manually from the shipment record so we can watch our status update. As I check for TPW confirmation, we'll see that this has now been marked as fully shipped within my third party warehouse, and this order is going to be fulfilled. And at that point, um, we can have all of the Acumatica automation that you're already familiar with kick in, um, whether it's confirming the shipment inside of Acumatica, updating our inventory upon shipment confirmation, um, and then uh, generating an invoice if this product hasn't already been prepared for. Um, so even though we are using two separate systems, Acumatica and ShipStation, because we can automate that uh, request for fulfillment and that notification of fulfillment at whatever frequency we need to using our processing center, we can achieve very, very close to real-time inventory, even if our warehouse is completely third-party um, and inventory is being, or orders are being fulfilled from a third-party warehouse. As soon as that shipment is fulfilled, we can update our inventory in Acumatica and maintain accurate visibility into inventory levels at our third party warehouse. So that is a um, that's a brief overview of how our integration works. Um, for the most part, it looks like core Acumatica functionality, except that all of the fulfillment is being taken out of our hands and put into the hands of a third party provider. But as we remove the responsibility of fulfillment, um, just because we're removing that responsibility doesn't mean we're giving up any visibility. We'll still know exactly what status the shipment is in, and then we'll be able to update our inventory as soon as the shipment is fulfilled.